Okay, hi there folks. I, today I wanted to uh, just show you some problems I ran into with the walker. Um, recently I did a review, a uh, shooting review of the walker, and um, if you haven't seen that, go check that out. But um, what happened was the wedge was backing out quite a bit, and um, <clears throat> when I was shooting it, it would just start backing out and I had to push it back in. But um, I was looking at it, I was trying to clean it, and I was having some trouble. The barrel wouldn't come off, and it wasn't rusted on either. Watch, and I'll show you. Oops. I think I might wedge out a little more. As you can see, it goes back and forth, but it won't come off. And I noticed that right on the arbor slot for the wedge, um, there's a little raised metal. And the reason this is happening is uh, because when the arbor length isn't corrected on one of these Colt style replicas, uh, the gun is kind of just held together by the wedge um, and they just kind of bash on each other and basically will eat each other down. And um, this causes that, uh, that burr around the arbor slide. I mean, you might see different things with your own gun. Uh, but as you see in this other picture here, uh, you can see a little metal is raised around the wedge slot, and it's like this on both sides of the barrel. And um, that's because they're just kind of when the gun's fired, the assemblies are just banging, banging into each other, and just kind of giving me gap issues. So I'm saying this off the Goon's Gunworks to get it tuned up, and when I get it back, uh, I won't be having these problems anymore. The arbor length will be corrected. Uh, the whole gun will be tuned up. There'll be action stops put on in the inside so the hammer can't over travel and things like that. So uh, I'll do an update video when I get it back and show you all the modifications that's been done to it. And um, I just want to show you that problem real quick. And when I get back, I'll be shooting full house loads with no problems. So thanks for watching.